Rory, they're here. Coming. Hey. Hey. I'm Rory. Yeah, I figured. Nice to meet you. Wow, aren't we hooked on phonics? Oh, I read a lot. Do you read? Not much. I could loan you that if you want. It's great. No, thanks. Well, if you change your mind. Okay, we really need to get Jackson away from the lemons now, so we're moving the feast in the living room. Be right there. So are these open? Oh, yeah, you just have to unlatch them and then push. Great. Shall we? Shall we what? Bail. No. Why? Because it's Tuesday night in Stars Hollow. There's nowhere to bail to. The 24-hour mini mart just closed 20 minutes ago. So we'll walk around or sit on a bench and stare at our shoes. Look, Suki just made a ton of really great food, and I'm starving, and though it may not seem like it right at this moment, it's going to be fun. Trust me. I don't even know you. Well, don't I look trustworthy? Maybe. OK, good. Let's eat. Do you want a soda? Oh, I'll get it. OK. Oh, really? I need three more lasagnas, but I left them at home. Oh, sweetie. Let's do that. That was school. Great. Nice. You learn anything good? Oh, yeah, tons of things. I got gold stars plastered all over my forehead. I had an interesting call today. Want to know who it was from? Not really. It's from Taylor Dozy. You know, he owns the market, if you say so. He said you came in today. He did. And he said you took some money out of a little donation cup to help repair the bridge. I told him he was crazy, you wouldn't do that, you weren't a thief, that he was just trying to start trouble, then I hung up on him. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoy hanging up on Taylor, and he is crazy, but I was just wondering if maybe any of the other things he said were true. What do you think? I think that if you tell me that what he's saying is not true, then I'm gonna believe it's not true. Okay, it's not true. That doesn't sound very convincing. Look, what exactly do you want from me? You bring me here to this place, you put me in a school that says the Pledge of Allegiance in six different languages, two of which I've never heard of before. You take me away from my home, my friends, and now you want what from me? I'm trying to help you. Well, stop trying. Stop talking to me, stop following me, and stop asking me questions. Just stop. That's what you want? Yes. That's really what you want? Yes. Fine, you got it. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you doing out here? I needed something for school. What about you? Oh, yeah. Same thing. Uh-huh. So, that was quite a disappearing act you pulled the other night. Uh, potlucks and Tupperware parties aren't really my thing. Too cool for school, huh? Yes, that is me. What are you doing? Oh, this? Nothing. Just another little disappearing act. Little tip? Yeah? If you ever want to speak to me again, don't pull that out of my ear. So I assume the nose is off limits, so. Any place you wouldn't naturally find a coin. Let's leave it that way. So what are you doing now? I have some homework to finish. OK. Then I'll leave you this last little trick. You bought a copy? I told you I'd lend you mine. It is yours. You stole my book. No, nope, borrowed it. OK, that's not called a trick. That's called a felony. Well, I just want to put some notes in the margins for you. What? You've read this before. About 40 times. I thought you said you didn't read much. Wow, well, what is much? Good night, Rory. Good night, Dodger. Dodger. Figure it out. Oliver Twist. Let's start the bidding at $3. Hey! $5. Now that's oh, the he's kind good. of we want He's to very today. good. Five dollars. Do I hear ten? Ten dollars. Okay, I have ten dollars. Do I hear fifteen? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Do I hear twenty-five? Thirty. All right. See, you boys don't seem to understand the way this thing works. Forty dollars. Fifty dollars. Excuse me. Have either of you noticed how tiny this thing is? Seventy-five. Now we're not talking cents, uh -oh. gentlemen. We're talking dollars. Dean's hesitating. Dollars, Eighty. He does 80, not have Eighty dollars to spend on the basket. Ninety. $90, is uh, that correct? You know, I don't think he'll have to. OK, we've got 90 going once, $90 going twice. Sold to the nice young hoodlum in the back for $90. I'm trying to think uh, in, in what scenario the situation could be construed as positive. Well, 
Well, no, no one's head is on fire. Mm. I better go talk to Dean. Do you want help? No, it's okay. I'm just officially not a fan of unpredictability. Totally understand. Good luck. Five dollars on this one. Do I hear five dollars? Bye. Five dollars, that's good. Thank you. How about ten dollars? I'm gonna kill him. Dude, he's probably just fooling around or something. No, he was messing with me. I don't... He was messing with me, and it's the last time, I swear to God. Dean, calm down. Why would he do this? Maybe he was hungry. He's trying to make me crazy. Just don't let him. I gotta tell you, of all the nutty barn raisin shindigs this town can cook up, this one wasn't half bad. Glad you enjoyed it. Yes, I did. So, shall we? Shall we what? Shall we go? Go where? Go eat. Excuse me? The person who buys the basket wins the company of the person who makes the basket for lunch. Basket, basket maker, guy who didn't bring enough money. You think this is funny? Well, it's no Lenny Brewster team, but it has its moments. Bye, Jess. Where are you going? You're the one who's going. Well, as soon as Rory is ready. She's not going with you. Really? Is that true? Yes, it's true. Excuse me, Edgar Bergen. I think I like Charlie McCarthy dancer now. Shut up. Dean. What? Well. Oh, come on. It's tradition. I don't believe this. It's true. My mother and I have been doing this every year since we moved here. So buck tradition. Are you kidding? Do you remember how mad Taylor was when I was sick and I couldn't go to the turkey calling contest? This isn't school. You're not getting graded. Just don't make this into a big thing. Don't go. Oh, jeez, man. She's not shipping off to Nam. You so need to shut up now. Look, Dean, it's a picnic. It's lunch. We'll sit, we'll eat, it's over. No. What do you think's going to happen? Yeah, I think I'd like to hear this one also. I don't want you to go. Dean. Fine, forget it. Go. Please, don't walk away like that. Sorry, I do a silly walk, but I'm not feeling very John Cleese right now. Dean, this isn't my fault. I didn't ask him to do that. I didn't tell him to do that. I, Dean, you're my boyfriend. I would never do anything to hurt you. Yeah? You're doing it right now. Yeah, I like this place. <clears throat> wow, a place in Stars Hollow you actually like. I'm stunned. It's got some good memories. You see right over there? Yep. That's where Luke pushed me in. Huh. It's nice. It is. So why'd you do it? Do what? Outbid Dean like that. I don't know. I guess it started as a joke just to bug him, but then he just got so mad, you know? And he is so tall. And I just was looking at him, and he's standing there all tall and mad, and I just, I don't know. It was, it was really funny. It wasn't funny. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't intend to do it. Does that make you feel any better? I just don't want to be in a fight with Dean. I'm sorry about that. You want to push me in the lake? It's cathartic, I hear. Yeah, maybe in a little bit. Whatever. So when do we open this thing? Go ahead. Wow. Not one thing in here that I would remotely consider eating. Well, I didn't make it for you. I made it for Dean. <laughs> and Dean would have eaten this? Yes, he would have. <clears throat> Dean is an idiot. Dean never would have fallen for that. <laughs> oh, I've yet to make it through it. Really? Try. The Fountainhead is a classic. Yeah, but Ayn Rand is a political nut. Yeah, but nobody could write a 40-page monologue the way that she could. OK, tomorrow I will try again, and you will. Give the painful Ernest Hemingway another chance. Yes, I promise. You know, Ernest only has lovely things to say about you. Why are you only nice to me? Excuse me? An hour ago, you were totally screwing with Dean, and now you're totally nice to me. You see, it's the screwing with Dean that's an important step to getting here so that I could be nice to you. So it was a plan. What? The whole bidding on my basket, it was a plan. OK, I'm officially starving. And officially evasive. Come on, I'll get you a pizza. Answer my question. Do you like pepperoni? I'm not going to, are you? We could just get it on half if you want. OK. I give. Let's go. If you insist. It was not self-indulgent. The Beats believed in shocking people, stirring things up. They believed in drugs, booze, and petty crime. Well, then you could say that they exposed you to a world that you wouldn't have otherwise known. Isn't that what great writing's all about? That was not great writing. That was the National Enquirer of the 50s. You're cracked. Typical guy response. Worship Kerouac and Bukowski. God forbid you'd pick up anything by Jane Austen. Hey, I've read Jane Austen. You have? Yeah, and I think she would have liked Bukowski. You like hot sauce? I don't know. Should I? I think it's wise. Hello? Hey. Oh, hey. Where are you? On my way to see you, if that's OK. Oh, well. I know you want to be alone, so I'll only stay a minute. I just want to say hi. We just said hi. Well, I want to say hi a little closer. But I'm a mess, really. It's not pretty. You won't recognize me. Well, then put a name tag on, because I miss you. I miss you, too, but. But what? But Paris is here. Why? 
She freaked out about a grade and she wanted to go over some notes and you know Paris, she will not be denied. I'll see you in a sec. Jess, please thank Luke for me. It was really nice of him. Who's that on the phone? No one. No one wouldn't happen to be heading over here right now, would he? Jess, what's going on? Nothing. Dean's on his way over and Rory doesn't want him to find me here. Why? Yeah, why? You know why. We're just eating dinner. Jess, I'm asking you as a friend, just please leave now. You really want me to go? I really want to avoid a fight with Dean. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Ow! What? Oh. I just twisted my ankle. I better go lay down. Jess! God, you're no fun when you're tense. Are you sure you want me to go? Because maybe this whole thing can be solved between me and Dean if we just sat down, had a little heart to heart. He could tell me his issues, I'll tell him mine. Jess! I promise I'll speak slowly. Bye! Okay, well, give him my best, would you? Actually, I guess I could do that myself. Dean, Jess just came by to bring me some food. From Luke's? He wanted to make sure I ate. Luke did. Right, Luke did. Personally, I could care less if she eats. Yeah, true, he could care less. I see you brought a little something, too. Is that ice cream? That's so nice. A tiny little ice cream pack is just big enough for two. Hey, are you guys going to feed each other? Because that's just so darn cute. Oops, you're doing that towering over me thing, huh? I tell you, you've really got that down. It helps that you're 12 feet tall, but this Frankenstein scale really adds to the whole. Yes. OK, I'm going. So do you want to? Come in. What the hell is going on? Hi. Dean, you remember Paris, right? Yeah, hi. So just, just drop this off, huh? Oh, well. Now, I know you eat fast, but this is a lot of food to put away that quickly, even on your best day. OK, so he didn't just drop it off. You told me you were doing laundry tonight. I was. And now you are here with Jess. And Paris. Jess, Rory. Uh, well, I swear, I didn't... You didn't what? You, you didn't know he was coming over? I didn't. And you also didn't know he was going to stay, right? It just happened. How does that just happen? Well, he was... And the, the diner the diner was, and I... And you what? What? Say something. Stop yelling. You totally lied to me. I didn't. Turn the situation around, Rory. How's it looking? It's looking complicated, and I'm trying to explain oh, it to you. That's crap. It's my fault. What? It's my fault that Jess was here. I saw him in the diner the day I came to Stars Hollow, and I thought he was cute. And since I'm not great at the whole batting the eyelashes, look at my belly shirt kind of thing, I asked Rory to help me. I thought if she could maybe get him over here, and we'd have a chance to talk. And I don't know, it seems totally stupid now, and it obviously didn't work. Shock. But that's why he was here. <sighs> Thanks for trying to cover for me. That's OK. Anyway, I should get going. I'm probably going to break out in some sort of rash any second now. Sorry that I yelled. Completely justified under the circumstances. Gotta get going. No. Wait, don't you want to stay for ice cream? We could hang out. No, I'm just gonna go. I'm still seeing you tomorrow, right? Yeah, sure. Hey. See you tomorrow. Admit it, it's always better in a cone. It's always better in a cone. Putting ice cream in a dish? Eating it with a spoon? Where are you running with people? Hold the wheel. What? I'm dripping here. Hold the wheel. I can't hold the wheel. You're driving. The person who's driving has to hold the wheel. That's the first thing they teach you in driver's ed. Huh. I got to take that class one of these days. Take the wheel. Jess. I'm letting go. Stop. Take it back. OK, you are taking this wheel back. And when you do, I'm going to kill you. I'm just letting you know that. I appreciate the warning. Jess. OK, I got it. Jeez, you look pale. You OK? Death, and it's going to be painful. You're not going to kill me. Think how dull your life would be without me. Serious questions? OK. You know you're smarter than most everybody at your school. It takes you like five minutes to finish a book. You read everything, you remember everything. You could ace those classes easily. Why don't you? You don't need a tutor. It's crazy that they're talking about leaving you back. Whatever. You could do anything you wanted. You could be anything you wanted. So, Courtney, what about you? <laughs> what about me? What are your big ambitions? Harvard. And after Harvard? I'm going to be a journalist. All is on? Christiane Amanpour. You're going to be an overseas correspondent? Yes, I am. You're going to crawl around in trenches and stand on top of buildings and have bombs going off in the background and civil wars raging all around you. What, you don't think I can do it? No, I do. It just sounds a little too... A little what? just sounds a little too rough for you. Well, it's not a little too rough for me. 
I hope it's not a little too rough for me. I've been talking about this forever. I mean, I don't even know what I would do. Hey, I didn't mean to freak you out. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll do it. You will. I promise. Okay, so I guess we should be getting back. I did promise to study if you want this ice cream run with me. Yes, you did. Okay, so I just go straight and we'll be back at Luke's. Good sense of direction. Of course, I could turn right and then you just be driving around in circles for a while. Turn right. As you wish. Where are you? I'm all right. Well, of course you're all right. Why wouldn't you be all right? Because I got in an accident. What? What accident? What do you mean you got in an accident? Jess and I went for ice cream, and we were just driving, and it was dark, and this dog or cat or possum, I don't know, it was small and furry, and it ran out into the middle of the road, and Jess swerved, and... Jess swerved? Yes. Jess was driving? Yes. Jess was driving your car, and you got in an accident? But I'm fine, and he's fine, and the furry thing is fine. The car's a little messed up, but there's nothing for you to be worried about. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. You kept pushing them together. You asked her to help him study. You knew she'd never say no. I told you. It made me nervous. I told you. I didn't like it, and I should have stopped it right there. But you thought Rory would be good for Jess. Never mind what he'd be to her. That wasn't important at all, was it? Of course it was important. Why didn't you put a stop to it at the, at the first sign of trouble? Why didn't you make him leave? He's my nephew. I had an obligation to take him in. I had an obligation to care for him. You had an obligation to this town and to me and to Rory. Wait, where are you going? I have to find out where Jess is. Well, I'll tell you where he's not. He's not in the emergency room having his arm plastered up. Hey, I am sorry about Rory. You know I care more about her than I do myself. But at least you know where Rory is, and at least you know that she's OK. Now, I have to find Jess, and I have to make sure that he's OK. And if that cuts into your screaming time, well, that's just too damn bad. Go to hell! Right back at you. I made sure she was okay. I know you did. What happened? What'd you do to your arm? Here. What is this? Just read it. Well, Rory, what's going on? Tell me how you hurt your arm. It's all in the letter. But Read. Uh, uh... Well, I love you, too. Good. Now just hold on to that feeling for a minute. Why? Just uh, read. All right, I'm reading. <sighs> what? Keep going. <sighs> what? Turn it over. What? Go on, you have like three more what's ahead of you. It gets better at the end. I'll just stand here until you get there. Is he really gone? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Want to come in? What? We can stay for dinner. My mom's making a roast. You like roast, right? Um, yeah, I like roast. Okay. Come on. And 
I know how much that sign meant to you, and I'm just so, so sorry that it was ruined. Oh, well, it wasn't your fault. But my car hit the bench. Your car hit the bench because that Jess was driving. Oh, well, yeah, but... That boy is a walking natural disaster. They should name a tornado after him. But he didn't cause it, Taylor. Roy, there you was... don't have to explain a thing to me. I know that there's absolutely no way that you would be involved in something like that if it weren't for that... Salminio wannabe, believe me. Chachi and Chachi alone will be held responsible for that incident. I'm doing fine. Oh, look at you being brave like that after all you've been through. Jeez, it's so hard being a woman, isn't it? I guess. I mean, you got your morals and your standards and your good common sense, and then bam, you meet some guy and all that goes right out the window. But for every good woman, there's a dirty little wolf just ready to lead her astray. You can't help it. He's got the eyes, the chin, chest hair you could carpet your dining room with. I mean, what's a woman to do? We're not made of steel, for God's sakes. Babette? I was in a cult once. Once, did I tell you that? No. I met this guy once, gorgeous, tan, looked just like Mickey Hargaday. We had coffee, he gave me a pamphlet. Next thing you know, I'm wearing a momo, playing a tambourine, jumping up and down at the airport. Okay, I really have to get inside. Oh, sure, hun, sure. You go take good care of yourself. And don't be embarrassed, toots. This has happened to all of us. Last week? Why didn't you call me? Last week, I can't believe you. Um, well, I, I meant to. How did this happen? It, bees. I got in a car accident. What? Rory? I got in a car accident. Oh, my God! How could you not tell us that she got into a car accident? Is this why she missed dinner? You said she had the flu. I just didn't want you to worry, Mom. Yes, well, clearly there was nothing to worry about. It was that car, wasn't it? The one her boyfriend made. Richard was dead set against letting her drive that death mobile. No, it wasn't the car, Mom. Well, then what was it? A friend of mine and I went to get ice cream. A friend? Which friend, Lane? Jess. Jess? Luke's nephew. Him? I thought you were going to keep that boy away from her. Mom, do we have to talk about this now? Yes, we have to talk about this now. The child has a cast on her arm. I don't understand how you could have been so irresponsible. Mom, please. Don't mom please me. It was your responsibility to stop this. It was your responsibility to make sure that he didn't I have gave it. him the keys. I told him to drive. He wanted to drive back to Luke's, and I said no. I wanted to keep on driving, and that's when we got into the car accident. This is just as much my fault as it is his, maybe more. Rory. Grab yourself a donut. So, have you heard from him? Oh, no, I talked to his mom, though. He got home OK. Good, that's good. Yeah, good. What about his stuff? Oh, I'm going to send it. Right. Makes sense. Luke? Yeah? It wasn't his fault. I know it wasn't. What? I said, why did you come here? Well... I mean, you ditched school and everything. It's so not you. Why'd you do it? Because you didn't say goodbye. Oh. Bye, Rory. Bye, Jess. so proud of you. Oh. Yeah, you were great up there. Thanks, you guys. Where's Rory? No Rory? She called your cell, and I answered, and she said she got hung up on something or other, and she'll see you at home. Hung up? Hung, hung up where? Is she OK? She said she's fine. She's just sorry, but fine. Oh. Why did you go to New York? To see Jess. Boy, do you know how to bury the lead. I don't know what happened. You went to New York to see Jess. It was the stroke. It made me someone else. And after his phone call last night, that was him? It did something to me. I don't know what. In fact, you should take the phone away from me, too. That's right. Add it to the list. No books, no music, no phone. OK, Rory. I'm a horrible person. You're not a horrible person. I'm sick. I'm ill. I'm cracked. This is not who I am. If I were to write this down in my diary and I would read it, I would be like, who is this freak? This isn't me. This isn't my diary. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't skip school when I have finals coming up to go see a guy that isn't even my guy and end up missing my mother's graduation, which I wanted to be at so badly. I'm 
that's someone else. That's someone flighty and stupid and dumb and girly. And I mean, I missed your graduation, which is the worst thing I could have possibly done. I mean, I hurt you, and I had to spend hours on a stinky bus next to a guy that was spitting into a can, just thinking about all of the minutes that were going by that I wasn't at your graduation, and they were hurting you, and they should have been hurting you, because it was so selfish of this person who wasn't me to do what she did. Okay, my God, take a breath. I don't deserve a breath. No breaths. You should add that to the list. You should beat me, ground me, take the phone away, and deprive me of air. Okay, look, nobody wants to say this any less than me, but I, maybe you don't have a medical condition or a mental problem. Maybe, honey, you are falling for Jess. No. Well... No, I love Dean. Dean is my boyfriend. He will always be my boyfriend. That's it. Forever. Because I've been there once Hey, hey you. Hey, you look nice. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, how many cocktails cause that? Oh, well, we haven't had any cocktails yet. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. When they start having cocktails, we're gonna have to hide you. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> What are you doing here? Hello to you, too. Is everything okay? You look nice. Thank you. What are you doing here? The move back. What? The move back. But what? Why? Just wanted to. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Rory. Don't say a word. Okay. I have to go. Oh, welcome home. Oh.